it's a rabbit hole you keep finding new things so Deagle forecasts different things growth and if we look at these countries right here you see China uh, there's two dates so, this, so you have 2017 and let's see if I go over here and give you the country list which is down at the bottom and 2025 and it's such such a interesting right there are 209 countries listed below view the 2025 forecast and they when they were confronted with this because when you look at the United States of America in 2017 population 327 million their forecast for 2025 is a hundred million people so when they were asked about this you know back I think it was in 2017 or 2018 they said well it'd be due to economic conditions they expect a gigantic crash uh, to happen and people will leave the US but when you add all the numbers together which I did uh, it shows there's about 550 million less people in the world uh, than there in 2025 than there is in 2017 so 550 million people are are gone from the world uh, as far as their forecast so when we look at this you know here you see that top number in red that's China's population now here they're showing it's going to go down um, and you know if we look at that we're looking at about 22 million people less so that's interesting because originally you know in the other numbers it just showed it flat uh, India's population is going to go up and it looks relatively significant there um, now Russia's population is going to go down slightly Japan's population is going to go down by about 23 million as you can see there's a difference 23 million Brazil's goes up about 3 million the United States population now they're forecasting it to sit at 99 million 553,100 people in 2025 and they're showing us currently at 326 million 620 that's a lot of people to not be there anymore um, it's it's just interesting to look at these numbers uh, here you see Indonesia uh, gained 7 million people so they go up interesting too uh, there was an article today talking about a lot of um, Chinese manufacturing jumping to Indonesia as well um, I forget where I got that article from um, here you see Mexico increases slightly perhaps it's people leaving the US you know and actually Central America and South America gain people now if you look at these countries you know right here you see Italy drops like 19 million people France uh, drops 28 million people that's huge Canada loses 9 million people about a third South Korea big loss there as well it goes from 51 million to 37 million you see the Netherlands drops population Pakistan gains population Pakistan gains a lot actually it gains about 14 million people I almost wonder if you know what's up with that that's kind of weird uh, Iran loses a little bit of population there I guess that looks like maybe around uh, was that like 45,000 people something like that uh, Thailand loses population Turkey loses 9 million that's big Egypt gains about 8 million people Malaysia gains like 2 million Nigeria loses 3 million Philippines gain like 13 million people Germany look at the loss on Germany Germany goes from 80 million people population to 28 million that's massive yeah massive massive drop um, and did we cover the UK because the UK has a huge drop too So Germany is massive. Spain, big losses, almost cut in half, 48 million to 27 million. Saudi Arabia loses about 3 million people as well. You see Colombia gaining uh, almost a couple million. Argentina loses 3 million. Um, so it's, it has to do with political alliances, I would think, and war as well. 
Taiwan loses like 5 million people. Australia loses 8 million. They go from 23 million to 15 million. Poland loses 5 million. And uh, we, we see the trends continue. Bangladesh, you know, gains 19 million. That's not earth change related because, you know, Bangladesh is so prone to flooding and, you know, all sorts of earth changes there as well. And we look at Romania losing 4 million. Iraq loses 6 million. Belgium loses 3 million. South Africa loses 9 million people. Venezuela loses 2 million, and you've got to wonder about that too, right? Finland loses um, population there. Peru gains. Austria loses. Sweden loses. Almost all the European nations lose. Kazakhstan loses people. Switzerland does as well. There's the UK, all the way down to 47. The UK goes from 65 million people to 14 million people. 65 million people to 14 million people. So what do you guys think of that? 